Welcome back folks to another video. If you enjoy this video, like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my next dry fly video at the end of this. Today I'm going to tie the March Brown dry fly. In the vise I have a size 10 dry fly hook and the thread I'm going to be using is a black pre-wax thread. So I'm going to start a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Working my way back down. And clip away the waist. And continue on until I get between the point of the hook and the barb. The tail I'm going to be using for the March Brown today is a ginger color. Okay, so take a few fibers from the hackle, line them up and strip. And there you can see I'm using the length of the shank or the hook, change hands. and clip away the waist. Clip it at an angle, so it gives you a nice uh, taper on the fly. The body is a hare's ear, and the rib is going to be a yellow colored silk as the rib. So I tie in the rib first, Okay, that's the rib safely locked home. Let me just get it out of the way. I just start preparing my dubbin. So I'm going to spin my bobbin anti-clockwise. And the reason I spin it anti-clockwise is when I spin it clockwise, it will lock home the uh, dubbing and secure it to the thread. Okay, so I'm going to just give another uh, bit of dubbing. Or not dubbing, sorry, but uh, wax. Prepare my uh, ears ear dubbing. Okay, apply it to the tread. And work it down. Okay, so I'm going to lift. I'm going to lift my body, our bobbin. Like so. And I'm going to twist the bobbin clockwise. When I release the bobbin and lower it, it will start to lock the bobbin onto the thread. Okay, and there you see, it's after locking the dubbing onto the thread. Now I'm ready to apply my dubbing, I'm working my way up, just behind the eye of the hook. Okay, I'm happy enough. Now I grab my rib and I go anti-clockwise, the direction that I went with my dubbing. Okay, this will secure the uh, dubbing and make the fly that bit stronger. Okay, and lock home the rib. Okay, this March Brown version is a version without the um, wings. It Im imitates a uh, early mayfly. But an excellent pattern during the March Brown season. Okay, from here I'm going to use two hackles. I'm going to use a ginger hackle and I'm going to use the brown partridge. 
Okay. So a ginger hackle. And I'm going to use a brown partridge. Okay, so the ginger will go on first. And then I will put on the brown partridge. So I had pre-waxed my thread, which will give me extra grip onto the hackle that's secured to the hook. So I'm turning and winding on the hackle like so. Couple of turns. Okay, and secure the, the hackle. And clip away my waist. Anything going forward, pull it back. Just tidy up that head and then get ready for the brown partridge. Okay, so a brown partridge. I'm gonna clip take away all the waist. Yeah, that's ready. I'm going to expose the tip like so. Okay, and clip the tip. Small bit more wax. Show up your hackle tip. Secure it onto the hook. Like so. Hackle pliers at the rear. And wind on your brown partridge. enough that's my brown partridge on secure the hackle a couple of turns put away the waist Be careful not to clip the thread form a nice neat head Before I finish, apply the varnish to the tread and we whip finish to fly. And folks, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my next video, which will be in the top right and left of this screen. And clip away. Okay, so get your fibers, pull them forward. And that is your March Brown Dry Fly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my next video in the top left and right corner. Tight lines.